Brakatia Hawu, Brakatia Shai, Brakatia Hawu, Brakatia Shai, Brakatia Hawu, Brakatia Hawu, Bashim Yahusha, Bashim, Chakutash. The belong to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone True Well. Salutations to the hopeful elect out there, you Akim to Zadakim. I do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. I'm the priest Shaman. This week's topic is going to be entitled I'm a response to our videos don't get views. Um, a brother has shared a clip in the chat of one of the deacons at IU. IUIC. I can't quite remember which one it was. I know it wasn't ASAP. I think it was. Can't can't remember his name. Oh no, I think it was ASAP. Deacon ASAP. I think that was him. Yes. And um, you know he plastered a, a, a screenshot of the apostles out there teaching, and he, they did acknowledge that Apostle of the Heart goes way back, been teaching this things to the eighties, and a lot of people in that congregation have been inquiring about Gray Millstone, you know, name of the apostles first, the elders and such. And he said, look, I'm not going to address it. We all address it. There are haters. We're going to give them a little bit of recognition, but we're not going to play their videos. And he said, the reason I'm not going to play their videos is because it only has eight views, eight views, nine views. Um, so he was correlating the truth with the number of viewers you have. Right, which if we were to be technical, then if that's the truth, then so-called Christianity would be the truth, right? Because of the um, denominations, if you will, of people that hold this Bible as true, the so-called Christian church have billions of listeners and followers. Um, yet the Lord has not come back yet, and we're still in our um, captivity, right? So we know it's not a numbers game. So for him to say that. As a man that's, to my knowledge, has you know, been aware of this truth for a very long time, it showed a lack. It showed somewhat of, of immaturity, right? Because Ezekiel eleven and sixteen says, "Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh: Although I have cast them far off among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries wherein all where they shall come." So, you know, the, the father's house, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua's house, is a small, you know, it's a small sanctuary, you know. I'm in the blue letter. Let me see something real quick. Um, let's look at the concordance here for sanctuary. Um, small, uh, a little sanctuary. So the point is this, um, what they have here for sanctuary. Strong's H, 4720. Mekdash. Mekdash. Okay, so. Makwadash. Makwadash. Um, you know? Which means, sorry, pardon me, the, the iPhone is not an iPhone guy. That's how you say it, but what do they have here? Um, let's go to it. Um, sacred place, sanctuary, a holy place. Now we know holy means to be separate, so it's a little separate place. All right, not a large one. It's a little separate place. In other words, within the elect, you're gonna have the elect. Within the elect of, meaning the the nation of Israel, you have um. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the chosen of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, but within that, there's another smaller elect, all right? Which you could keep compartmentalizing this because you have the chosen people, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Within that, now you have people that acknowledge that they're Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and within that, you have um, those that are breaking down the tribes correctly, and within that, then the, those that are breaking down the prophecies correctly, and then within that, those that are living the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. So the Lord keeps narrowing, narrowing things down, and if you narrow it down to that nitty gritty, so far, the apostles and the elders, the brothers of Great Millstone, has been following that template of a man that is of the elect. You know, uh, the the book of uh, let me get this right here, the book of Romans, um, nine and six says. Not as though the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai hath taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. So just because you're an Israelite, um, doesn't is not the end all be all to say, look, you know, the Lord is dealing with you. In fact, 
many Israelites see break down the scriptures differently. Um, but Yahweh Shai said, look, my sheep hear my voice. Just like how an actual sheep, the herder could tell you the particular sounds he makes to call the sheep. If you make that sound just like the herder will, if it's not the sheep, if, if, if it's not that herdsman voice, his sheep won't come. And you could actually see this on YouTube and practice. So it's the same thing with hearing the words of the Lord, all right? Yahweh Shai has chosen the elect. Um, we'll hear the words of the Lord. All right. And a big determining factor. So, you know, we talked about um, we talked about how there's certain determining factors to know somebody is of the elect. And one thing that's um, strong with the elect and we didn't notice we don't notice this from the IUIC guys is this Ecclesiasticus 17 and 10 and the elect shall praise his holy name and. They mock the name Yahweh Shai. They don't believe on that name. And the scripture says, Amos 3 and 6 can two walk together lest they be agreed. Even if we did not believe together, they're still not calling and praising on the holy name. They believe that we're going to know the Lord's name unless they change their doctrine in the kingdom. Um, they say we're going to get a new name to praise. But however, this is why you got to go into the meaning of, the, meaning of words because that word there for new, when the Lord talks about a new name, it goes back to the Greek kainos, which means refresh, meaning that name Yahweh Shai is going to be refreshed back in the earth. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to be refreshed back in the earth. But guess what? The elect will know it because Amos 3 and 7 says, He revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Because the book of Proverbs, the 30th chapter, tells you that his name is secret. You know, what's his son's name? What's his name and what's his son's name, if thou can tell? It's a secret. Proverbs 25. Sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm trying to speed it up now because i got to get to camp. Proverbs 25. Um, verse 4 says um, Actually verse 2 I can get that actually real quick Let me get that Book of Proverbs Book of Proverbs um, 25 Verse 2 It is the glory of Yahweh To conceal a thing But the honor of kings Is to search to out the matter So it's it's a glory for the Lord to conceal his name right now and, and make it very precious. You know, there's power in secrecy. See, in fact, if you know, the reason people go to Las Vegas and spend all their money to see a magic show is because they don't know how that, you know, the secrets behind what the, the illusion is or whatever this guy's doing. Um, you take away that secret, just like in the Wizard of Oz, you, you pull the veil behind the cover and there's not that much power there. So, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh. All right, even him with his son, he, he he pretty much gave him everything. He gave him everything he had to know, all the world secrets, except when he's coming back. So there's power in, in knowing certain things that others don't. And there's a power within that name. That name is holy, okay? And we've seen that the Lord is going to reveal it to his elect, all right? So that's a determining factor right there, calling on the name of the elect. So it shouldn't be a thing of how much views you get. Because that's not a that's not in the scriptures about you know the, the elect shall have many views or no the scriptures speak about a small sanctuary not all Israel being Israel um, the chosen all right many are called but few are chosen so the Lord is a complete separatist he likes to make things precious make things holy make things separate and he doesn't like to give that to everyone so the fact that hey man if you get one sincere brother because remember we cast in the truth we cast in many seeds but it's about it growing on good ground growing and in because in, 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 you could you know throw again a, a many many seeds but you know how much is going to be fruitful now look i'm not going to say that you don't have the elects among these different camps you do you have the elects scattered within iuic you have the elects gathered within isupk but right now um their leaders can be somewhat inconsistent you know I watched that situation with Nate speaking on the Kyrie Irving thing, and he was bringing out a lot of facts that was true. Because um, as long as you're going according to the scriptures, we're not going to be like in our feelings, oh, we don't fuck with you, so that's not, no. He was going according to the scriptures when he was on that interview that brother shared, but there's certain other things he goes off on. And that one of them, you know, is praising the name Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Yahweh Shah, see? Which you can't say he did not know because there's a video of him breaking it down over an hour in length going in depth into the name of the Lord, then to retract that, you know, just how does that look? So there's certain things that they do. Plus another big red flag is the 501c3 charter, which that's a tax exempt from the government 
um, charter, right? But scripture said the gift destroyed the heart. That charter makes your organization tax exempt. However, it's within that contract that you can't say certain things according to the, that's in the Bible, certain verses that are, you just can't touch on, you know? Because if you look at IUIC videos, they don't go heavy, heavy into Esau being a devil, calling them the devil, letting them know that they're going to go into slavery and all that. It's sort of watered down. They somewhat are politically correct, you know, on certain things. It's not the full unadulterated truth, okay? And that's the way the Lord wants his word to be, go out. Truth, fully unadulterated, man. So, you brothers out there watching and, and you're being diligent, don't get discouraged by your view count. And I always bring out this elder out there in um, South Carolina, um, Elder Manata Zakba. I remember years ago, again, I always say this point. He was a brother that was getting little to no views. And then the Lord all of a sudden magnified him because he was always diligent. He was, as far as I can remember, he was always putting up shows consistently. But all of a sudden, the Lord just magnified that brother to he had thousands, tens of thousands of views. All right. What about that brother in Hawaii? All right. The brother Yahweh, when he went um, live about that missile situation, he had tens of thousands of views, people joining into his live. So when that threat is there, don't worry. Those people are going to run for answers. OK, but to just completely disqualify a video or not even listen because it got one view. That's like, you know, that's you, you earn in that uh, things. And I hope you brothers don't do that. You know. So in closing, it's not about views. It's really about, you know, who the Lord chooses. You know, you look like a, um, you look like a movie. Somebody gets cast in a role, right? But before that person get cast in a role, thousands of people go out to audition. And it's not necessarily the best actor that gets the role, right? Or the best. It just comes down to whoever the director likes, the casting director likes, you know? So that's the thing with the Lord. It's not coming down to what the majority of the people think this is true or the majority of people think this is the right answer. It just comes down to who the Lord has chosen um, to be his elect. That's it, you know? With that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shah, Ba'ashim, Rakakotash, the blunts of the apostles and the elders of great millstone true wealth. Citations to the hopeful elect out there. You are came to Sadakim that do the singing that most truth and sincerity. Shalom.